Hi, this is Mr Evans. This video looks at the impact of growth and uh, retrenchment on human resources uh, and is the final of our functional areas where we're looking at how growth or retrenchment can affect them. So um, how do we uh, measure HR performance, which will be you know, a big consideration for the HR department if there is going to be growth or retrenchment? They'll want to know how it's going to affect their labour turnover, absenteeism, employee costs as a percentage of turnover, how will it affect the labour productivity, the labour cost per unit, and how is it going to affect the motivation of the workforce. Um, and I'll continue looking at the merger between um, PSA Group, who uh, in 2017 bought out um, two companies from the General Motors portfolio, Opal and Vauxhall. Um, so how will that growth retrenchment, what might be the impact on human resources? Well, um, these are companies that may well speak different languages. Vauxhall um, are based in the UK. General Motors is an American company. I think Opal is based in Spain, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Whereas the PSA group is based in France. So there are going to be communication issues uh, across these businesses. Um, which you know could add to costs, which could um, create potential difficulties, uh, and maybe there'll be training requirements to uh, understand how people, you know, cultural the cultural differences between these organisations, um, which may be a cost that the organisations hadn't thought of before. You know, how are we going to get our staff to work together? How are we going to get managers communicating together when they might not speak the same languages? Um, there can also be impact on motivation. Um, you know, one of the big drivers of this merger was cost cutting, i.e. Um, benefiting from uh, shutting down some of uh, Vauxhall's and Opal's factories, closing down production there and moving that production to the uh, existing PSA factories. So, you know, there are going to be probably job losses as a result of this in a Vauxhall uh, plant in the UK in a place called Ellesmere Port is, is um, potentially going to be shut down. And so, uh, you know, what impact does that have on the Vauxhall workers who are likely to lose their jobs? Um, it could be, be very poor. And that can spread across the, you know, the rest of the group as well. Um, Ellesmere Port isn't the only Vauxhall factory, but if their colleagues at Ellesmere Port are going, will that make the Vauxhall workers within this group feel uh, like, you know, Vauxhall's just being um, uh, driven out of business? How will that affect the motivation of the rest of the staff? And then, of course, there's an impact on staff turnover, difficulties recruiting, and things like that. Um, there's an argument that uh, this may lead to increased labour productivity as uh, the businesses we talked about in, you know, how benchmarking can be used um, to in, and, and technology shared across these organisations, which may well improve the quality of labour, uh, increase labour productivity and um, basically make the uh, workforce operate more efficiently, um, which would lead to falling labour costs per unit. So. Um, lots of considerations for human resources as a result of growth and retrenchment, particularly when there are job losses involved. Um, that has to be handled very sensitively. And um, uh, if it doesn't, it can have a serious impact on the motivation of the rest of the workforce, which therefore affects things like absenteeism, staff turnover, at uh, least difficulties recruiting, uh, etc.